Hey everyone, a quick video today about how Captain America defeated Ultron. Not in the movie, but actually at the end, in Endgame. When we first see interactions between Ultron and Captain America, Ultron says that he's disgusted by Captain America. Captain America says, I know you've suffered, but... And then Ultron cuts him off and goes, Ah, Captain America, God's righteous man, pretending you could live without a war. I can't physically throw up in my mouth, but... And it's because Ultron sees Captain America as a hypocrite. He sees all the Avengers as hypocrites, but Captain America might be the biggest hypocrite of them all. Captain America was created to be a weapon. That's all he is. And in that sense, he represents all the bad things about humans that Ultron eventually needs to, he sees himself as needing to protect men from themselves. Captain America joins the war um, in World War II and he comes back and of course finds himself in struggle after struggle. But what's important to know is that Captain America ultimately proves Ultron wrong. And he does this when he goes back in time to be with Peggy. At the end of Endgame, he goes back in time to put the uh, Infinity Stones where they belong, and instead of coming back to the time that mine that he was in, he spends his life with Peggy, we assume, in peace and quiet. Again, there's a lot of you know speculations about what happens there. But in the end, that is where Captain America, of course, has his redemption arc, right? The man out of time, finds himself back in time, back with the woman that he wanted, and proves Ultron wrong, right? Uh, this is why that line is so interesting and important. When Ultron is disgusted with Captain America, God's righteous man pretending you could live without a war, Captain America does end up living without a war.